Welcome to video 3. In this video, I'll explain how to use bulk actions to effectively edit rosters and accounts. As an example, I'll also assign students to teachers and classes. To do this, in the Enterprise panel, I'll click on the Students icon here. This will bring up a list of students in the school. As you can see, the top three students in this list do not have a teacher or class assigned. We'll use bulk actions to complete these tasks. Here's how to do it. To add a teacher, I'll select the students I'd like to add a teacher to by checking these boxes. I'll then go to the bottom of the screen and using the drop down menu under the header bulk actions, I'll select add teacher and click submit. The next screen allows me to select the teacher I'd like to add to the students. Notice the list of students we selected on the earlier screen is below here. Using the pre-populated list of teachers we've added to the school, I'll select this teacher for these students. There is a section here on this panel reminding us that adding a teacher assigns students a new teacher. It does not change a teacher for students or a class. This is a separate bulk action. You can also use the Add Teacher Bulk action to add additional teachers to students that already have a teacher assigned to them. This is useful if you would like to add a second teacher to a class or to specific students. This is not the same as changing the teacher for a student or class. That task can be completed as a separate bulk action called Change Teacher. I'll click Apply to add this teacher to the three students. You can now see these students have successfully been assigned the teacher I selected earlier. To add students to a class, first I need to go back to the Enterprise panel. This time, I'll select the Classes icon here. You can now see the classes I've set up previously for the school. If you haven't set up any classes yet, this list will be empty. By clicking on Add Class, I can choose a name for the class we are setting up. I'll click Submit. Now we go back to the Enterprise panel and go to the students icon here. I can see quickly which students have been allocated to a class by casting my eyes down this list. I now know which students I need to assign to a class. The same students as our previous example. I'll choose these students by placing a check next to their names here. Then I'll go down to the bottom of the screen and use the drop down menu under the header Bulk Actions and I'll select Add Class and click Submit. The next screen allows us to choose the specific details for this class. By clicking here, I can see the pre-populated class names I have in this school as choices I'd like to assign these students to. I'll select the class we set up earlier for our example. As before, the names of the students I'd like to assign a class to is here as a reminder for me to complete this task. I'll then click Apply. The green bar then appears at the top of the screen confirming this change and we can see in our student list the class has been successfully added to these students. 
You can also send the placement test to students as a bulk action. To assign the placement test quickly, in your Enterprise Management panel, navigate to Students. You check the students you'd like to send the placements to by placing a check next to their names like this. And I'll go down to the bottom of the screen again to access the drop down menu under the header Bulk Actions. This time I'll select Assign Placement Test and click Submit. The next screen allows you to set essential fields to administer the test. I'll do this next. Once I click Apply, I can see the green bar at the top of the screen confirming this action has taken place. The other way to run specific actions using the bulk actions function is to filter by class in the student section of the enterprise panel. If I filter by class, I can see the students in my Sunday class, for example. If I would like to change the teacher for this class from teacher Olga to another teacher, for example, I can check the box for all students here and then go to the drop down menu again under the bulk actions header and select change teacher and click submit. The next screen asks us to enter details of the teacher we are changing from and to. The list of students is shown here as a useful reminder of the action we are assigning. I'll change from the teacher we chose earlier to a different teacher in this school. Finally, I'll click Apply and I'll see a green bar at the top of the screen confirming the change that we've made. We can also see here that the teacher has been successfully changed. Using the filter tool, as we have done here, is an efficient way to run specific actions.